Okay. So, just a short walkthrough to our subject. So, i-maximize na lang kung ano yung mga nakikita nyo dito. So, mostly yun yung mga uh, i-discuss lang naman natin. Okay. So, sa homepage, uh, alam na alam nyo na ito kung paano pumunta dito. So, mahanap nyo dito yung welcoming uh, message. And then, the course delivery. And then, the course overview. Actually, yung pinakamahalaga dito is yung course overview. Okay. So, dito nyo malalaman kung ano ba yung mga dapat nyo matutunan. Okay. So, we have four. So, understand the different DC circuit, electrical, parameters, and concepts. Okay? So, solve different DC circuit, electrical parameters of a given circuit. And simplify a network of linear electrical components in application different theorems and methods. And lastly, is solve uh, problems in application of different prin uh, principles, theorems, and laws in DC circuit. So, as you guys can see, most of them are DC. Okay? So, in... Uh, fundamentals of electrical circuits, you're only going to tackle uh, direct current. Okay, so no alternating current. So alternating cu uh, current will uh, be discussed on the electro, okay, fundamentals of electronics and devices. All right, so for the syllabus, so uh, alam na alam nyo na rin naman na siguro to. So here's the basic things that you need to check. So this is a three unit uh, lecture. This so our time or class hour for this subject is 7.30 to 11.30 a.m. So again, we only have 6.5 weeks. So 0.5 is for your exams, midterms and final exams. And then 6 weeks is for the discussion. So 3 weeks for the midterms and then three, another 3 weeks for the finals. Okay. So uh, the class is started from May 3 to August 5. So just take note on that one. And then as early as of now, I would like to inform you guys that your midterm exam will be on May 25. All right, so we only have two weeks more, okay? So next week, 10 to 14, and then another next week, I mean, next, next week is 17 to 21. Then after that, exam, okay? So it's uh, May 24, okay? May 24 and 25, I think 24, 25, 26. That's the uh, examination date, All right? So I hope we are clear with that one so that uh, you guys know our timeline. So for the course learning outcomes, so this is the same with what we have in the home page. And then here's the uh, course content or the topics that we're going to discuss. So again, for the first three weeks, so those are the topics for midterms, okay? So for the week one, so we will try to finish the module one. Well, actually, this one is a combination of module one and module two. So starting from six to seven, this is already the uh, module two. So from topic one to five, this is the uh, module one. Okay, and then for the week two, so we're going to discuss two theory, I mean, yeah, two laws. So the KCL, uh, KVL, or the Kirchhoff's current and voltage laws, and then the Maxwell loop or sometimes we call this one mesh loop or mesh current method. Okay, and then for the third week, so we're going to uh, discuss two theorems. Okay, so uh, this is the fun fact uh, regarding the theorems. So uh, starting from week three to week four, okay, yeah, actually four, actually there's two more, yeah, here the uh, week six so supposedly week three and six so they are uh, connected with each other so you can uh, use any method or any theorem which fits uh, the most like uh, you know the theorem that will make uh, you uh, ano ba kasi yung mga theorem sa to parang lahat sila para-parehas yung magiging result. Okay? Depende na lang siya kung paano mo siya gagamitin na mas mapapadali yung pag-a-analyze or pag-simplify mo ng uh, isang circuit. Okay? So, ganun lang naman siya. Lahat sila uh, para-parehas na magiging result. Magkakaiba lang ng mga parang kung saan mo siya dapat gamitin. Alright? So, yeah, that's it for the week 3 and 4 and 6. And then for the week 5, so uh, in here we're going to talk about source transformation. So under source transformation, we have, of course, from voltage to current or vice versa, current to voltage. 
and then we have the delta y and y delta transformation. So, ito, ito yung medyo naiiba na kasi uh, sabihin na natin, maraming mga complicated na circuits, right? May mga super uh, daming parallel na connection. Mostly naman sa kanila is convertible into a series uh, circuit. However, a delta y connection or circuit cannot be converted into a series connection. Okay, so meron tayong uh, special formula for that one. So kailangan mo muna siyang i-convert from delta y to y delta. Okay, so vice versa and pwede mong i-delta delta y to y delta or y delta to delta y. Okay, so ito lang yung way para masolve mo yung mga individual, uh, let's say, resistance or currents or voltage across that uh, node or path, right? And uh, we have here the uh, e-book. So, hindi ko alam kung uh, natsa-check nyo ba to for your uh, past subjects before in our canvas. Pero, uh, eto mahalaga to. Dapat naglalagay yung instructor ng e-book kung saan ba nang gagaling mostly yung mga uh, topics. Okay? Or kung hindi man dun mostly nang galing, uh, this e-book will help you understand more about the topics that uh, the instructor will discuss in that uh, subject. Okay, so ito, pwede nyo siyang i-download. So, hanapin nyo lang itong, uh, or i-click nyo lang itong web, uh, website na to, and then it will lead you to that uh, site, and then download nyo lang PDF version. Okay? So, basis of evaluation. So, alam na alam nyo na to. So, discussions, quizzes, assignments, and examinations, all of those are important. Okay? So, for these three, discussions, quizzes, and assignments, this one is under class standing. Okay, so 50% yun sa uh, class natin. And then another 50% for the examination, which is for the midterm exam. So that's how we compute your midterm score. So take note that, again, in UC, the passing score is 60%. Okay, so you must have a... Uh, total of at least 60% for you to be able to get a grade of 75. Okay? So, hindi tayo uh, 50%. So, lagging 60%. So, for the tentative final score, we have 50% uh, class standing. So, the same lang din. 50% ito yun sa finals naman to. And then, 50% for the final exam. Alright? And whatever is the result, this one will be your tentative final score. And then, for us to be able to you know, solve or get your final score. So we're going to get one third of your midterm score right here, and then two thirds of your tentative final score. So as a result, kung ano man yung makuha namin dito na range, let's say 60, then congrats, you were able to pass the subject. So you already have a grade of 75. So kapag 61 and above, let's say 61, 65, it's maybe 76. So meron tayong range na ganun. So I think dapat isama yun dito para may idea kayo kung ano ba yung equivalent grade nyo kapag ganito yung score nyo. Okay, so next time isasama ko yun. Anyway, that's it for the uh, syllabus. So, were all of you able to follow? Yes, sir. Sir. Yes, right. sir. Okay, very good. So, may namiss pala akong dalawa. Uh, hindi ko na siya na-mention kasi nga uh, yung 1 and 3 pinagsama ko na, which is sabi ko nga eh, yung standard grading is 60%. So, correction to ha, ah, mali pala to. 60% to. 60% would be a minimum to get the passing grade of 75. And then for number 2, so uh, in here, it's either you uh, fail or pass na lang. So, ito kasi mga completion of all requirements. So, hindi naman porket natapos mo lahat yung requirements is pasado ka na. Okay, so dapat uh, 60 or 6 out of 10 or 6% lagi na kukuha mo. Okay, kung, hindi, kung may mga na-miss ka mga requirements, I, I, I guess that's okay. Lalo na kapag matataas yung mga nakukuha mo, so papasa ka pa rin naman. Pero kapag uh, marami kang nami-miss na mga requirements, tapos ang mababa pa ng score mo sa mga nasasagutan mong quizzes, assignments, then dapat lang talaga natapusin mo lahat. Okay. So, this is only essential if uh, laboratory to. So, sa laboratory, uh, kabaliktaran. 
Okay? Kahit na perfect ka sa lahat, pero may na-miss kang isa, tapos major requirements pa yun. So, parang uh, isang kawalan yun sa'yo, okay? Parang, yes, ang taas ng midterm mo, 95, 97, almost perfect lahat. Pero may mga tatlo or apat kang laboratories na hindi nagawa dun sa lab. And then, wala din. Okay? Kasi um, ang habol natin sa laboratory is yung experience. Okay? Kung yung hands-on mismo na experience kung paano mo siya uh, mapapagana or paano mo i-apply na tutunan mo sa lecture. Okay? So, ganun lang naman. Kaya dito, sa lecture, um, it's not that important. Okay? As long as you're getting high grades. Okay? As long as alam mo ang papasa ka talaga. Anyway, so right here, we have the uh, week zero. So I hope most of you have already did this one. So as of now, there's only three. Okay? So, sino pa hindi nakagawa dito? So this is just a one-minute video. Ako sa yan. Alright, so uh, hanggang May 10 pa naman. Okay, hanggang Tuesday next week. A ah, Monday. Monday next week. So, I hope uh, magawa nyo na to as early as possible kasi dito ako mag-a-adjust. Okay? So, lalo na yung expect, eto dito, yung expectation nyo. Well, I guess for the uh, gadget, you know, having, just having a smartphone is enough, I guess. Since, uh, pwede na yun para makapag-picture kayo ng solutions nyo. So, take note, dapat working yung camera nyo, okay? Hindi lang porket meron ang smartphone na okay na. Kasi, kakailanganin ko yung mga solutions nyo for your uh, quizzes and uh, activities. Okay? So, for the others, so bahala na kayo kung ano yung mga gusto nyo idagdag. Okay? Kung ano yung mga gusto nyo sabihin. Okay? So, ang mahalaga is na-cover nyo yung uh, number one to four. Okay? So, in that way, I'll be able to work, uh, learn Uh, more about you guys and yeah, I'll be able to change or adjust things that I need to. Alright, so that's it for the week zero. And then for the week one, so uh, I think uh, nakita nyo na lahat itong mga to maliban lang sa mga uh, ito, assignment, exercise number one, and then the quiz. So hindi ko pa siya pinablish kasi uh, wala lang. Surprise! Next week. Next week kayo mag-quiz uh, or mag- Uh, titik na mga yan. Kapag natapos na natin ito. Alright. So, the first thing that you need to check is of course the overview okay, of this week one. Okay, ano ba yung mga i-discuss natin? So, uh, we'll define electric circuit. We'll define Ohm's law and different types of circuit. We'll also define electric power. And lastly, we'll define heat energy. Okay. So, uh, actually, yun lang naman yung mga topic learning outcomes. And then, mostly, kung ano yung nasa topic learning outcomes, yun yung mga topics na i-discuss natin. Like, for example, electric circuit. Yan. Ohm's law. And, hindi ko na nasama dito, pero, the types of circuit. Okay. And, of course, we have series, parallel, and then a combinational circuit. Okay. So, kulang din to. Uh, we must also have here the uh, electric power and then the heat energy. Anyway, so we have here the uh, lecture presentation or the uh, title of the PDF that I have included in here. So, meron tayo ng module 1, Electric Circuit Ohm's Law. So, yun, hindi pa pala updated to. So, sorry for that one. So, dapat meron pang isa, which is the series parallel and parallel series circuits. So, dapat dalawa yung nasa lecture presentation. So, dalawang PDF. And then, I have also included here some video materials. So, uh, if ever na hindi nyo naintindihan yung diniscuss ko with the some parts or some topics in module 1, so you can always check uh, this website. So, what is the electrical circuit? Uh, what is the uh, Ohm's law, charge power, physics problems? basic electricity, etc., etc. So, uh, mostly, yung mga topics natin dito, nilagyan ko ng uh, video, okay? So, this one will explain uh, more, okay, or in-depth explanation regarding with that topic. 
Okay, so yun lang naman. So make sure to check those videos. So uh, saglit lang naman sila mga 7 minutes. 7 to 10. Actually, meron yata 30 minutes. Pero yun kasi yung uh, mga examples na sa series parallel and parallel series uh, circuit. And uh, again, the same with this one right here. So ito yung uh, e-book na meron sa syllabus natin. Okay. At ang Fundamentals of Electric Circuits. Second edition. Alright, and then for this uh, week, okay, or for this uh, module one and two, so most of them are taken from this website, all about circuits. So make sure to check this one also. Okay, kasi may mga, baka may mga information dun na hindi ko na isama, which is essential pala. So, yeah. Pero I doubt na may mga na ako kasi kinuha ko naman yata lahat. So, ito lang, just to say that this is where all of the uh, information from my PowerPoint came from. Okay, all about circuits. Alright, so are we clear so far regarding with the overview for the week one? Yes, sir. Alright, so ilan na tayo? Yes. Oh, nine. So, there are now eight of you guys, so that's a good sign. So I hope the others will uh, be able to catch up. All right, so we still have seven minutes. Yeah, seven minutes and 50 seconds. So I guess enough yun para makapagtapos tayo ng ilang slides. Oops, ba't pala save yun? All right. So let us now discuss the module 1. So itong binuksan ko ngayon is ito yun. Okay, so just check this one and then uh, you will see the same presentation as what I'm uh, sharing to you guys right now. All right. So for this one, so we'll uh, talk about electric circuit, uh, Ohm's law, the types of circuit, and then electric and heat energy. Okay, so first let's start with electric circuit. So what is electric circuit? So it is an electric circuit. Uh, is a path in which electrons from a voltage or current source flow. So you cannot call that one electric circuit, okay, if there is no electrons flowing on that, uh, let's say, circuit. Okay, kaya ang natawag na electric, from the word electric, merong electrons na dumadaloy dun sa circuit na yun. Okay? So, kaya uh, me medyo hinighlight ko to kasi nandito na explanation mismo. So, basically, itong circuit na to is just a path. Okay? So, sabihin na natin road siya. So, lahat naman ng mga, lahat-lahat ng mga meron tayo ngayon na uh, may kuryente is merong path. Okay? That is where the electrons flow. Okay? Or the source flow. Okay? So, the point where uh, those electrons enter an electrical circuit is called the source. Okay? So maybe, let's say, in reality, so, nagagawa siya, marami kasi, marami kasi tayong sources, di ba? Meron tayong hydro, dun na kikreate yung electricity. Meron din tayong, uh, let's say, yung wind. Okay? Yung mga windmills, dun na kikreate yung electricity. Ano pa ba? Uh, nuclear, uh, nuclear power. Power plants. Okay, so mga yun, yung mga nakikreate ng mga uh, electrons or electricity. So we call them source. So in our case, sa, sa atin naman dito sa bahay natin, uh, outlet lang. Okay, so talagang meron pang source yan which is yung beneko. Pero sa atin, yung outlet mismo yung source natin. Okay, so kung saan siya lumalabas at pumapasok, that is our source. Okay. At the same time, the point where the electrons leave an electrical circuit is called the return or earth ground. So, kung papansin ninyo naman siguro, so in an outlet, laging dalawang butas yan. Sometimes tatlo, pero mostly uh, dalawa lang. Okay? So, ito is yung positive and then ito yung negative. Okay? And then ito naman is yung ground natin. So, ito, of course, they are connected with each other. We're in, we have a common source. Let's say, pwedeng hydro, hydro to, pwedeng water, pwedeng 
via windmill or via a uh, power plant. Okay, so ito yung nagpo-provide or yung pinaka-source talaga ng electricity natin. But in our case, Beneco. Okay, so they have their own technology to give us electricity in our homes. So ito na yun. Connected na siya sa mga outlets natin. Alright. So I hope we are uh, clear with this one. So simple lang naman siya pero uh, yeah. Ganun siya sa uh, reality. Okay. So clear so far? Yes sir. Alright. So if you guys have a question, so feel free to ask me uh, anytime, okay? So uh, next one is load, or it is a part of an electrical circuit that is between the electrons starting point and uh, the point where they return to the source is called an electrical circuit's load. So to make it simple, ito yung uh, outlet natin, di ba? Okay, so of course, if you're going to put here a... Uh, i-jack or kung ano man yung ilalagay mo dyan. Okay, so wire yan na dalawa. Okay, so pwedeng uh, let's say charger ng cellphone. Okay, pwedeng refrigerator, pwedeng TV. Okay, kung ano man yung nandito sa gitna. Okay, kung ano man yung nasa gitna, we call that one load. Okay, so actually anything that consumes energy, okay, that consumes energy, Okay, anything that consumes energy from our outlet, okay, is called load. Okay, so kung wire lang yan, okay, let's say ganyan, na may loop, okay, so hindi yan, hindi yan, kuan, hindi yan load, kasi wire lang siya. So dapat merong between na appliances, or kung ano man yung nagko-consume ng uh, energy natin for us to be able to uh, see that one, that it is a load. And kapag ginawa mo yung, let's say, eto, magka-connect silang dalawa, so, sasabog to, sasabog tong outlet mo kasi hindi pwedeng magsama ang uh, positive and negative. So, magko-collide sila. So, dapat meron silang uh, eto, para may pinagdadaluyan na uh, isa, which is kinoconsume yung mismo positive and negative energy at the same time. Okay? Kasi kapag sila lang dalawa, sasabog tong outlet mo. Alright? Oops, ano nangyari? Okay, so... Uh, again, kagaya ng sabi ko nina, load is just an electrical circuit or appliance or home appliance like, like a refrigerator, television, lamps, or uh, any other complicated appliance such as hydroelectric power generating station. Okay, so ganun lang naman sa uh, load. Okay. And we have here two types of electrical power. So kagaya ng sabi ko nina, uh, meron tayong DC and AC, but in this subject, we're only going to talk about DC or direct current. So for the AC, ito na yung sa electro. Okay, so AC is of course a sine wave. So AC is a sine wave, ganito siya, but for DC, ganyan lang siya, diretso lang. Okay, so the one that we have in outlet, that one is actually... AC. Okay? Kaya kailangan natin ng converter from AC to DC okay, para mas stable yung energy natin or yung electricity. Okay? One good example of that one is our laptop. Hindi, pwede naman siguro, pwede ng AC. Pero mas madaling masira yung laptop mo kapag nakakonect ka siya sa AC. Dapat stable lang siya. Kaya nga yung mga uh, charger brick natin is malalaki yung parang ganyan kalamantawdan pero that that one converts the uh, electricity from AC to DC para mas stable yung uh, electricity so stable 220 volts lang siya all right 